I was overwhelmed because, you know, look at my background, where I came from, to be president of an iconic American company and to be on the board of directors. I mean, I thought it was just uh, something special had happened to me. So rather than stay and work till midnight, which I really would have done because I had so much work to do, I decided to go home and share the good news with my family. So I got home at about 10, opened, you know, parked the car, got into the garage, and my mother was waiting at the top of the stairs. And I said to her, Mom, I got great news for you. And she said, well, then let the news wait. Can you go out and get some milk? I said to her, Mom, look, I uh, looked in the garage. Looks like my husband is home. What time did he get home? She said, 8 o'clock. I said, why didn't you ask him to buy the milk? Because he's tired. OK? <laughs> he's tired. <laughs> he's tired. We have a couple of help at home. Why didn't you ask them to get the milk? She said, because I forgot. I said, okay, fine. She said, just go get the milk. We need it for the morning. So I, like a dutiful daughter, I went out and got the milk and came back. I sort of banged it on the counter and I said, I had great news for you. I've just been told that I'm going to be president and on the board of directors. And all that you want me to do is to go out and get the milk. What kind of a mom are you? And she said to me, let me explain something to you. You might be president of PepsiCo, you might be on the board of directors, but when you enter this house, you're the wife, you're the daughter, you're the daughter-in-law, you're the mother, you're all of that. Nobody else can take that place. So leave that damn crown in the garage <laughs> and don't bring it into the house.